right. So I remember in I remember in the I think I know in the movie that he actually well he does Edmund does go to Narnia, but it's on his own later, like after Lucy. So at the time of that intro cutscene in level four or sorry level three. Uh, level 4, by the way, Lantern Waste. Uh, in level 3, in the intro cutscene, I think before, he doesn't uh, actually know about Narnia. Like, he's never seen it, he's never been there yet uh, at the time of that cutscene, like in that time of the movie. Uh, so he just kind of, so that's why he's just kind of going along with what, what, what he, with what he believes Lucy is just, uh, just making stuff up until he actually goes there for himself and finds out. So it is, it is accurate, but they kind of merge the, they take the liberty of merging their two stories together, because this is actually... If, if, if you haven't uh, pieced it together by now, and the icon on the top right, uh, this is a two-player game. So at any time, you can plug in your second, just like in Lego, um, in Lego games, you can plug in your second controller and uh, just just go at it with the with the second player. It's very fun. Uh, and I remember. Oh, by the way, that that little that little demo you just saw there. That's that's gonna be extreme and also very much a headache for getting uh <laughs> for getting shields. By the way, this part of the music I love. I don't know. It's 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 very high fantasy for me. I love it. Uh, Rescue Edmund is a level that I remember. Uh, I like needed two players on like back in the day, like as a kid. It was like the, because there's a certain part, like the very last section of that level, I could not do single player for some reason. It was it was too much to bear. But look at this shit. Look at that. That is what what awaits us. This is my this this, this is probably my favorite level next to next to Western Wood and I think even Frozen Lake. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I always, I always like that. I've always been the kind of guy. Here we go, Narnia time! Woohoo! In we go. And this is where we're gonna be spending the rest of the game, the rest of the story. I, I've always been a fan of like the early game, like basic kind of levels, and this is one of those examples. So I don't know. You can call me basic all you want. It's what I feel. It's what I feel most comfortable with, at least. It's very, it's very, it's a nice length. It's, it's very, very fantasy like. Very gets you in the mood. Gets you immersed. And, so, and that's what I love about this game. From the music to just the gameplay to the environments. This is this is all an original soundtrack, by the way. So this is not like this is not from the movie, and this I, I love it. it. It fits really well. But uh, in any case, to Lantern Waste, we go. Impossible. You sure it's just your imagination? Damn. Hello. Hello. Maybe we should go back. Imagination. Shouldn't we at least take a look around? I think Lucy should decide. She wants the first one here. Yeah. I'd like you all to meet Mr. Thomas. But we can't go hiking in the snow, dressed like this. Sure we can. But I'm sure the professor wouldn't mind us using these. We're not even taking them out of the wardrobe. True. But that's the girl's coat. I know. Damn. <laughs> Damn, so where'd you find this? That's a cute girl's coat. Did your husband give it to you? I love the fucking smile on his on his model as it just as it just transitions from a cutscene to gameplay great gameplay graphics. This is fucking great. All right, so here we are in Narnia for the very first time with all four children. All right, so in our winter coats. So now everyone has the ability to team up. So this is a good time, good times any to show off what they do. So Peter and Susan can Peter and Peter being the eldest can piggyback either of the girls. Have the, either of the girls give them pig, give a piggy give a piggyback right to the girls. Um, right now, Piers and Piers and Lucy's doesn't exactly do much. He's just fucking swinging his fists around. <laughs> yeah, take him down. <laughs> it's like he's controlling him. <laughs> Ride my trusty steed. Swing your arms at them. <laughs> Bitch slap them all. <laughs> uh, Piers and Susan's allows her allows the ability to just just be a turret pretty much. Throw ranged. It's pretty nice. Uh, Piers and Edmund, as well. If Edmund if Edmund teams up with either of the Woohoo! Spin your partner around your man. <laughs> just swing around, just kick him. You got mad strength. Um, yeah, Peter and Susan can pick up Edmund. As long as Edmund is teamed up with either of the elder, elder two, you can swing around, just, just beat the shit out of people with this. It, it, this that's probably, I think, probably my favorite one. My favorite uh, combination of, of, of children to do it with. Um, there's like three different types that you can do it. Uh, there's like three different types of team up uh, combinations. This is the one that we've already seen. Woohoo! Susan and Lucy can do that too. I think that about covers it. Yeah. So that's pretty much all the combinations of uh, 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 team up combinations that we've done so far. So if we punch this, you know that. <laughs> Actually, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Sorry about that. Had a text. Might get a continuation of that text in a minute. Uh, yeah. So punching those gives us the barrel. Uh, this stick does not. Or sorry, the stick. This stick does not respond. Um, 
Unfortunately, not for not for Edmund, because otherwise we could just get in for the sticks. I, I always wish that we could get like sticks for the for the girls as well, but alas, they have their abilities. We have ours. Uh, we will get another stick later, a little later though, for Edmund. So yeah, we will get another we will get another stick in like a little bit of ways, but uh, this allows us to break this or not, because we can just also do that. That is just an alternative, I suppose. I don't remember if it actually responds. Either way, there it goes. <laughs> Still making a noise. Uh, we are going to need this. Now let's see if I can draw. There. I draw I draw an O. <laughs> that can be anything, so go nuts. It's your, use your imagination. That was an oval. It has to be a circle. It's Fantasyland after all. Just get off the ball. Get off the ball. Get on the ball. Fight the wolves. Ah! Get away from my, my family. It's all about family around here. But don't... All right. So yeah, circle is your is your your dash attack pretty much. Your powerful, your strong attack. Around here is Edmund's stick. So now that he now he has one, uh, and he's gonna need one for. Let's see if we can cheese it and do it right now. Come on, come on, come on. Cause they just left. There we go. Get off quick. Whee! I like the the even though, even if it's a woman's coat, I like the 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 blue on Edmund. It's really nice. And also also thematically. Shows well, he's he's not a bad guy, but he's not and he's not malicious either. But he's he's just kind of a fool. Also, notice that we touched flames and uh, it lit it lit up the other stick. That's that's really cool. I really like the fire physics in this. Um, probably shouldn't mess with that barrel, <laughs> for, for that matter. Uh, but we will go ahead and get the bear the ba I was gonna say baseball, the snowball around here. Whoop! Just pizza, French fry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are gonna go over here and get the coins that are floating here. There's no, there's nothing floating here that we absolutely need right now. In fact, I don't think we're going to come across a shield for a little bit, as this is just the beginning area, but uh, there's stuff that we can get, so we might as well get it. It'll, it'll prove invaluable to us later on, and I don't know how I missed that, but it's fine. Ten coins can go, go a long way, because this is like a bunch of gold coins. I, I also really love this music. It's so good. The soundtrack is just delightful. So these, th this is pretty much, oh, come on. This pretty much teaches us mechanics that we had a little bit of uh, had a little bit of insight to already, but uh, you can just go ham here in Narnia. Just to basically establish that you can anything you can do in the real world, you can do in here too. Like kill bats. Thankfully, there are no such things as bats around here, as far as I'm as my memory serves. Uh, so the reason why we need the fire in the first place is uh, well, let's let's take one of these two. All right, all right, Lucy, you ready to get your ass beat? Boom. Just get your ass pounded with that with icicles. So we need to come in here with the fight with fire, or else Susan's just gonna be like, "It's too dark. I don't want to go in there." That's what she says, word for word. So over here, burning sticks can be used to set fire to different. To, can you be used to set fire to different things? This is where we just were. I mean, look at that wolf. Oh, that's foreshadowing. Look at those barrels. That's even more foreshadowing. Uh, yeah, we were just we were just here. That's that's really cool. Um, but yeah, let's burn these. That'll destroy the barrels down there and destroy the pillar that's up here. Actually, what we need to do is we gotta get ready to team up. Edmund can team up with Peter or Susan to knock to knock over unstable objects, such as this giant ass fucking pillar. So when you see that little spinny spin up there, that spinny spin icon, that's the that's the sign that you need to uh, team up. Also, no more fire. We just gotta fight the wolves on our own. The wolves do not like fire. I think it'll do more damage if the stick is on fire. So it's pretty much a small old damage upgrade. This will not... This, right now, this is kind of no shields. Right now, just kind of surviving, pretty much. Let's give Evan some love here. Hey, yo, get off. Ideally, you want to use Peter. Edmund is pretty much there for the second player to swing, swing the sticks at. But um, Peter, I'll, I'll, I'll switch it up just to just to be different. Either way, we did it. Victory music. Woohoo! And now for this part. Peter being a good brother. Here we go. Okay, we need to be absolutely, absolutely on point. So all, the, a lot of the shields are on this part. We gotta keep an eye out for all the icicles that are in the way, also not fall. Um, it's very hard to do this single player. Oh god, hit as many of these as we can for shields. And this, this turn I think up, up ahead here, 21 shields. Oh god, it's really hard to get all the shields in too. Oh god, I missed them. The AI cannot get these, by the way. We just gotta move. Oh god, it's gonna be so hard. Okay, get the right one. Okay. No, future self, make sure you get the right one. Oh god. Oh god. We can. Uh, 
Yeah! Ah, oh, so good. Let's see if we can get those. Ah, fuck it. We don't need the coins right now. Let's get those. They're not all gonna have shields, but some of them will. We got 13. Okay, that's not bad. It's not great, though, but that's where a lot of them are. Oh, crap. Is everybody okay? One of you will have to find a safe path across the ice. Susan and I are too heavy. Hurry! Bro, you just called your sister fat, dude. <laughs> the frozen ice is too weak for Peter or Susan. Use Lucio Edmund to find a safe path across. Alright, so that- Man, this music really fits the, This music is really fitting for, like, almost any situation. Okay, so. As we go across, we have to get 1 out of 23 of these. So, only 23 of these ice- of the, of the ices here are going to- are going to be the safe ice to walk across. Now, for some reason, my OCD ass always feels the need to just also check for every single ice here as well, just to make absolutely sure that we that they know which path is that, we, that they they need to cross. So I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> this is how it be. I'm gonna try my best to at least. I don't know how far I'm gonna take this, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. <laughs> So only Edmund and Susan for this for this particular part, only Edmund and Susan, sorry, Edmund and Lucy can uh oh boy, can traverse uh through this one. There's gonna be another part like this later on, but uh that, but, but, uh, that we can switch characters on. But for right now, uh this is this is it's just gonna be the the, the younger children. Also, I made it guys, I made it across, just do exactly what I did just then. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's not how it works. Usually you can follow the coins and that's gonna be how you'll do it. God, this music. So uh, ominous. So atmospheric. Get all the ice. Break the ice. Oh, sweet. We got them all. Alright, so now we can't... Well, I was going to get all the ice. We gotta, I was going to get that coin, man. So now we can't go back. We can still dance on it. Uh, I don't want to fall. Just in case... It, just in case... Uh, it, looks, it looks fine. <laughs> well, I, I love how they, were, they just knew. They just knew exactly my, what my path was. You gotta love it. We really are a family. So now we can break through this. Oh man, new ability. Woo! We, got, we actually got a number of new mechanics here. So ability unlocked. Wolf Bane and Lion Sleep. Alright, so Wolf Bane. Wolf Bane allows wolves to be defeated with one hit. A weapon is required to use this ability. So, uh, Banes work a lot different in this one. You don't have to do a, a parry or length attack. You can parry in this game, and I'll show you how. Um, they don't teach you how, but it's it's there. It's a mechanic that you can do. So circle and X. You do, that basically means you use your strong attack followed by X to finish them off. It only works on certain enemies. You can do it any time, like normally this uh, this attack on any enemy, but it will only work on on the on the certain bane will only apply to the certain enemy that that bane is uh, associated with. If that makes sense. <laughs> Lion Sleep is a fierce close range attack. A weapon is required to use this ability. So one thing you need to know. I think it also, yeah, it also unlocks for Edmund, but right now he doesn't have a stick, sadly, because he, lo he lost it. He, had a, he didn't have a good, as good of a grip as Peter did, but square circle X. Lion's Leap, so that's close, that's close range. It's the only one that is actually, okay, there's only one, there's four combos in the game. Uh, and one of them is the only one that doesn't have this little explosive, explosion attack right here. Because it's a little more long range because of that. Uh, if we, we can use any of the children to move the snowball, but Lucy has the high ground. Right here. Lucy has. You have unlocked the first aid ability. Lucy can use this to heal the others. When Lucy press the circle button to activate her first aid ability. Now we are actually a little bit, a little bit hurt from from those previous fight, from that previous fight. So let's let's give ourselves the heal. Now later on, uh, we are going to have the ability. To, we're we're going to have our upgrades to be able to um, heal heal and basically have infinite ammo, like infinite healing, infinite ammo uh, for Susan for Lucy and Susan respectively. I'm amazed I didn't go. Th I'm amazed I didn't uh, go through there somehow. But uh, this is a statue. Here's the secondary collectible of the game. Statue collected, one out of ten. Uh, we're not going to be able to. We're definitely not going to be able to get all ten of those uh, on this run. Like especially not on every level. Until we come back with certain abilities, we are gonna. We are gonna have to come back with certain abilities. Like this is the first level where we are gonna have to start coming back. Like even if we got perfect, uh, Edmund can go across this. Oh wait, hold on. I want to have have Lucy get these coins. Because it will become important later. Moves will become more expensive later, obviously. Roll it up real high. There we go. We got it at the we got it at one end of the other. Very aesthetically pleasing. Seven eight why is six afraid of seven? Cause seven, eight, nine, one, ten, thirteen, twenty one. <laughs> I, mean, I I I took the joke too far, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <clears throat> Just like I took this recording too far. We're at we're at one hour and one minute and a half and one minute and a half. 
Yeah, roll the stick bundle across here. Punch this tree. They're that awesome. And just push it down. We are some strong ass children. <laughs> Come on, guys! Ooh, close one. We're also pretty fat, too. <laughs> the boot. Too much crumpets and biscuits and tea. British jokes. <laughs> yeah, the stick is pretty much required to hit, stu to hit brambles and stuff like that. Bramble blast, if you will. I was saying earlier, uh, Edmund has the uh, has the blue coat. Cause thematically, he he's not malicious, and he's not. He, but he is he is, I guess, considered the black sheep of the of the family, the the <laughs> the, the angstiest one of, of them all. If we if we are to go that far, um, like the, like story wise, but he 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 gets better. Like Voyage Dontrer, Edmund is dope. I, li I like I, I like Edmund though. Even even when he, even when he's a little bit of, a, of an oh man arrows. He's a little bit of a stinker in this movie. In, in this movie, he's he's still pretty cool. They got arrows and shit now up in this ice fortress here. We're just gonna tear it down. Oh man, here they come! More wolves! You asked for it. More wolves! Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da. The wolf theme, as I as I dub it. Oh man, get away from me! Use our wolf bane. Woo! Wolf bane! Ah, I killed him before. What? Oh, <laughs> I thought Lucy was a wolf. My bad, Lucy Wolf. Oh shit, Lucy Wolf from uh. Oh, what the fuck hit me? Well, I was making a Spider-Man 3 reference. Fucking assholes. Spider-Man 3, the game, by the way, for 360 in particular. Big difference between PS2 and 360. Hold the L1 button to make it, press the square button to make Susan put out the fires with snowballs. Hey, yo, get these dwarf archers out of here. Get the fuck back. I ain't playing, man. So L1 is for Lucy. Oh, yeah, yo, 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 hold up, hold up. Get, get Peter out here. Do it. Wolf bait. Yeah. Lion sleep. Boom. It's pretty good close range. It's it's the weakest one, so it's not gonna do a whole lot. But it, it, the com the combos are really good for. Uh, okay, I totally did a. I was totally trying to do the. Uh, ow, the lion's leap just then. But uh, I'll show you why in a minute when I get a chance. It's fucking. But I'm not so scatterbrained. I'll tell you why. L1 does different things. Ow. L1 does different things for for different characters. For Susan, it's ranged. It's for Susan, it's to aim. Um, for L1. L1 for <laughs> punch that wolf. For L L1 for Peter and Edmund when they have sticks. Actually, even I guess even without when they don't have sticks, I guess I'll find that out in a minute. Um, they can parry like that. Just yeah, yeah, just do a little dance. Yeah, parry all attacks as long as you keep mashing that, you'll be safe. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, he does. He does it even without. He does it a little slower though. Uh, does Lucy have a function an L1 function? No, she does not. Not as far as I can tell. These guys need to f the f off, man. I think they're just gonna keep responding. <laughs> the fuck back, man. I don't wanna have to stat check these kills if I don't have to. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to though. Oh man, any one of the any one of the kids can do this. By the way, this is a matter of who you have equipped to that, who you're assuming the role of at that time. Go quickly, run! Oh, I'm gonna fucking punch the shit out of these dwarves. Hey, oh, get the fuck back, man. You ain't nothing. Yeah, sucking these dwarves. <laughs> this, this feels wrong. But they attacked us first. Yeah. Yeah, you see that, Peter? I am strong. All right, so we got more statues around here. There's two of them here. They they blend in pretty well with the background, so you gotta keep an eye, a very close eye out for them. Like a lot of the, a lot of times, they are gonna just blend in. It, like they'll be obtainable, but they'll be a little hard to see if you're not keeping a close eye out. Let's go ahead and climb this tree for coin. Love this music. I'm gonna keep saying that every time a single track comes out. Oh man, he's trying to go for me, he's trying to shoot me down. I don't think so. Ooh. He, he, he should have hit me there, but I'm invincible because I was climbing down. I was jumping off. I think we need to be Susan, or sorry, Lucy, uh, for down here. Just off to the right here. Uh, I don't want to do that, so let's get Susan. <laughs> I was right when I said Susan. Subconsciously, I was correct. Boom. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, no. I blew it. Can I still break it? Oh, no, wait. I don't have to because snow puts out the fires. Boom. There you go. Now we go through here. Victory music! I fucking love it. There's just coins down here, but there's no statue? Oh, there was. Hmm. Oh, well. There fucking better not be a statue here. I'm gonna be mad. If there is one, I just didn't see it. There is one here, though. Now we're gonna use Edmund for this one. Make it fair. For this uh, upcoming Ice Lake section. Right. I think we are gonna make it a little bit easier, though, and just try to off these guys. So that's a little less annoying. Because on, on top of the dwarves... We also have to deal with the ravens, the crows that are just kind of chilling out here. <laughs> chilling, because it's ice. Get it? Uh, there are there are ravens that are just going to swarm the middle of the ice lake here, so... Oh god, careful. 
I don't want to die just yet. I'm going to see how much of this ice I can I can discover for myself. I'm going to discover ice for the first time. Oh, man. I'm going to make me some iced tea. Oh, God. Playing playing, playing hot shot here. So now, we, from this point on, we can be any of the Pevensey children and traverse this. And I've, I've actually managed to successfully do it with both of the... Uh, with both of the of the older two, and uh, it's 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 hard because they'll just fucking sink, they'll just fucking just drown instantly if they, if you touch the wrong part of the ice, and it's it's not fun having to just do it over and over again. But I, I managed to do it on multiple occasions. Like it's particularly on this one, because these just want to do. But it's 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 pretty tedious to try to do it, to try to challenge. Oh man, I missed one. Let's go dive for it. <laughs> dive for it, not die for it. I don't plan on dying. That's what that's what suckers do, which is why I'm about to do it right now. <laughs> Just going on the ice like a like a like a chode. Oh no! Oh, I've oh i oh I've 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 blown it. Ugh. Damn! You can't switch. Damn! Sorry, Edmund. Uh, we get because we got because we got it before the checkpoint. We gotta get that one again. Well, oh, damn. Well, hopefully that's hopefully we don't have too many deaths in this project. And if they are, it'll just be a result of that. Just not in just. Straight up clean, <laughs> just straight up clean, not non losing health to enemies type deaths. In any case, man, I'm just, I don't even need to kill those dwarves, man. I'm just, I'm just that good. I have to go back for this one, very carefully. Hey, don't, don't throw me off. These are very skinny. Ah, stop! A punch is actually that would actually be faster. It's a little more risky. I'm getting all this ice, man. Gotta hit this. Can't touch it. I have a feeling we might die on a, ow, on a certain other level if we if we don't if we aren't on the ball because that because that particular boss that I'm referring to is not fun. <laughs> that was just hanging about hanging on the edge. I'm on the edge of ice, of glaciers, and I'm hanging on a glacier with you. <laughs> they, but, but he's gonna he's just gonna play a prank on, Su on Peter and Susan and be like, okay, yo, go go on that one. That's an alternate way, and they're just gonna fall. Oh man, careful, careful. Those are the last three right here. There we go. <laughs> yo, go on that one. It's, it's safe. It's just an alternate route. All right, off we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Yeah, uh, one thing, one other thing I wanted to mention. Okay, we're just gonna go in there. And we're just gonna just kill him with this. Hit him with this. Yeah, die. That's so man. That's that's so rude. That's so violent. I'm gonna hit him with this. Oh man. Oh, yeah, yeah. See what hit him. <laughs> man, fuck it. I'm about to just go in there. I'm about to just just blow myself up. See how much damage it does. Ooh, a lot. Hey, uh, Lucy. Lucy, you got some healing to do. <laughs> you got some more healing to do. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to Jackass. Break this, maybe there's gonna be some health in there. Get some more coins. There's more statues on the way. Yeah, like I said before, some statues are gonna be blocked off by... Coming, you're gonna need to come back for with new abilities later on. Which we'll unlock as we play the game. But, uh, yeah. There's seven of them. I think we're gonna come out with eight, maybe nine, before this is over. But yeah, statues are gonna become important later on. So keep that in mind. Like, much later on, like, second to the last level. You'll see why in a minute. If, and if you've seen the movie, then, uh, makes even more sense. Oh, man. Yeah, we're gonna, we're, actually, we're gonna come out with only one missing. I think. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna jump the gun in here or anything, but I, I'm, you know, I, I might know which one that might be. Ow. But, uh, right here is the last, is the last section of the level. Unless the last section is actually right here. In which case, that's extra good. Oh, I thought that was it right there. Ooh, careful. You also want to make sure you time your uh, your swings right when you do it when you do the combos. Make sure you're pressing the right buttons. Yeah, there we go. So the ability, the meter on the on the right of our health, it's it applies to pretty much all the kids. Um, that's basically our ability meter. So like our energy. Um, and we can't escape it if we wanted to. Boom. Uh, that basically determines how much energy we have to do a certain move. Or certain abilities. Like for Lucy, it's her heals. For Susan, it's her her ranged attacks. And for Peter and Edmund, it's their ability for their their ability to do attacks like this. Combos. And each one consumes a different amount each time. So keep that in, keep that in mind when you're swinging. 
But uh, that's all of them. And like a little gauntlet to get the to get the, the blood all warm. Lots of, lots of lovely food. We'll have lots of more lots of... We were pretty cold blooded though, fighting them, especially on the cold. No. Oh no. Lucy! There might be another wolf in there. And they trash this place up, man. Do something like this. Wolves. Damn wolves. Fawn Tumnus is hereby charged with high treason. What? Against her Imperial Majesty, Jadis, Queen of Narnia, for comforting her enemies and fraternizing with humans. Signed, Morgrim, Captain of the Secret Police. Don't worry, Lou. We'll think of something. Man, why the wolves gotta be cops around here, man? This is bullshit. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I like dogs, too. How dare they. We gotta get 14 shields. <laughs> all, I'm telling you, all those shields are on that slide. That's gonna be crazy. We got, we got a thousand coins, though. That's tight. And we spent some, but it's cool, it's cool. We can also buy some after the, uh, some, some skill, some abilities will be available after we beat the level too, so. I think that's how it works. Let's see if we got it. Ah, oh, what the fuck? You had, you had me, man. You fucking, you fucking baited my ass. It was, man, that was, that's some bullshit. How could they do this? It was about to be excellent. It was like, nope, good. <laughs> you didn't get all the coins. It must be what it is. Do you wish to save coin game? Yes, I do. How dare they rob me of that. First they trash my, my boy Tumnus's place. Now they just rob me of my excellent rating. I got enough money, man. I'm good for it. 